Hey everybody, it's me, Russ, doing a uh, catalytic converter, kind of. It's not really, it's a diesel, it's a Dura Torque 3.2 liter diesel transit van, and it needs a, a catalytic particle filtration unit. I don't remember the technical term, but here's some tips on uh, how you do it. First of all, you're going to need a lift for this operation, this job. I don't see how you can do it without a lift. Open the hood. You're going to remove the beauty cover, which is soft and gushy, and you're going to remove this sensor, which is attached to the cat. And bear with me, I'm doing this at work and I'm flattering, so. I'm gonna have to replace a bunch of bolts and you're going to have to remove the sub right? That's actually the front engine bracket. You don't have to remove that, but removing the subframe is something you're going to have to do. But you don't have to remove the steering rack. You will have to remove the front bracket there uh, and bolt all of that and start to disassemble the subframe. So you can get to this cat. There it is. It is not... You're not going to be able to take it out without dropping that right there, that subframe. And I started by removing the lower ball joint, uh, lower control arm connection right there. Using a Pitman arm or Pitman pour was the best way to go to get those loose. They were very stubborn. But this tool here was the best way to go. The Pitman arm puller. Had to heat up these nuts. There's two nuts that hold up the front of the control arm off of these bolts, and those were very stubborn as well. I just couldn't get them off with the impact. Even borrowed a massive ugga dugga, which would not get them loose. Without the right amount of heat, which this gun I usually use to light cigars, so that was great. The next thing you're gonna have to remove is the sway bar so that you can leave it attached, actually. And that's some of the good news. While you are removing the subframe, you can leave the sway bar and the steering rack attached. Woo! And there's lots of wires and tubes from the death tank to other wiring harnesses to remove. That tool is great for that. There's the lower subframe bolt, which we will be replacing. Now these don't look like they need to be removed, but they do because they will catch uh, the subframe when you lower it on the jack, which I used here, transmission jack, put underneath the subframe to lower it to the floor. There it is. Had a buddy uh, help bring it to the floor. It was quite heavy, but not as heavy as if the steering rack was attached. There's three bolts on the steering rack, which could be reached once I lowered um, the subframe. And from here, you'll see there's more wires that need to be uh, pulled from what's going to the cat. There's things like a Christmas tree, all the wires coming off of it. There was even a sensor right in the back, uh, downstream sensor, right to where I needed to unbolt it. Just about, there's a pigtail there where it comes out of, so you can get it out of the way. That's the lower glow plug. Uh, right there on the exhaust, part of the DEF tank, uh, injects oxygen to make the air cleaner. Um, this thing's attached on the top right on the turbocharger. So the turbocharger is right there, and that's where there's another sensor there that's kind of in the way, but I brought it down with that one attached. Um, but those bolts were quite a, a challenge to reach and unbolt. But after a lot of finagling, body twisting, and swear words, I did finally get those bolts, uh, nuts, actually off. And they had to be replaced with these out of the bag. And here was a good time, I tell you what, finagling that catalytic, practical, whatever it's called, out of this transit van after it's been unbolted, because that was a challenge as well.
Ba-ba-da-ba-ba 
forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around. Thank you.